What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. I know I missed Monday's upload. I'm sorry. I was planning to shoot a video in the morning and then I got busy. I got tied up. I didn't get a video out Monday, but I've been hammering through them and I appreciate all you guys that are watching. If you guys haven't already, go down and click the subscribe button because we got a lot of killer stuff coming up here. Oh. Didn't even look. Didn't even look. I was hitting him with it. Didn't even look. Unbelievable. Uh, what we got going on this week is we're going to Tess and Tune this Thursday at Glott Motorsports Park. Then we're going to Streetcar Takeover Maryland on Friday and Saturday. So, busy week. Hope to see you guys out there. We'll have a bunch of LS Nasty merch with us. So, stop by, say what's up, and just hang out. Uh, one thing I do want to ask you guys, can you guys do me a huge favor? Can you go over to Instagram and follow my guys over at RJS Racing Equipment? Go and follow those guys because they are absolutely badass and they make the best safety equipment stuff out there. Um, we have been communicating, talking back and forth. I run their belts in the black car. And uh, I will honestly say, I've been through like four different companies. I love their belts the most. I mean, they just, their belts are good. They make everything from front to back on the car and head to toe on the driver. So go and check those guys out. Make sure that you're staying safe in the car. Safety is mainly overlooked in drag race and I hate it. Uh, next time I see some guy going up there in some nitrous car wearing jean shorts, I'm gonna yell at you because just be safe. It's really, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Right, Phil? Is it not worth it? What? It's not worth it to be unsafe racing. Oh no, it's not worth it to put the heavy back in the... We're not talking about that. I'm We're still on it. I'm going to be that. I'm, I'm going to be like that until there's an LS and the G-Box. You are going for LS Nasty Channel all the way. All the way. Everything needs to have an LS lock. Even those Hondas over there, they need an LS lock. <laughs> they need a... Maybe we could put the Hemi in one of those. <laughs> but what we got going... Ben! What's on the menu for today's video? A fuel pump on that one. Uh -huh. Phil, let's uh, give everyone the rundown and the statistics of this new fuel pump that we got that is going on. If you can just do like a little commercial. Most plus fuel system. <laughs> if you want the most plus more, get the most plus fuel pump. <laughs> it's not the least plus. It's not the most least plus. plus. Most, most plus. plus. I love it. Are you, do you work commercials? I work commercials, bar mitzvahs, <laughs> weddings. <laughs> all right so what we got going on if you guys watched the video when we were at the track last you guys will know that uh brown sugar we put the new turbo on there on uh, the new turbo we took a turbo off of the the stairway of boost we put the jose back into action on this guy here and it makes some power it makes some serious steam so much so that at 18 pounds of boost it completely killed this fuel pump this fuel pump could not keep up we got a MagnaFuel 750 on there. Not a bad pump by any means, uh, but we need more fuel. Uh, pretty much right around like 200 feet, fuel pressure started dropping off. The fuel tech picked it up and cut the power off before it leaned anything out. Uh, so, the, yes, the MagnaFuel 750 is a badass pump, but it doesn't have enough to supply all the fuel for this new turbo. This new turbo, it just makes it just makes more power that's what it is we ran the other turbo the old 88 on this car and at 21 pounds of boost it still had fuel pressure this at 18 pounds of boost was running out of fuel pressure uh, the injectors were flowing great the fuel pump honestly couldn't come up horsepower and fuel are locked in one to one if you're making more power you're using more fuel so even though it was less boost the car was making more power ben were you pleased with the performance of the jose yes that thing's a bad girl isn't it yeah, yeah. Uh, to explain, but i was just telling them on the other turbo we were in 21 pounds of boost and we had fuel pressure this one we were in 18 pounds of boost and we were out of fuel pressure yeah. it's got it's a, it's a strong uh strong turbo there it's uh are you getting the most plus i got the most plus right now um it's a, it's a strong turbo it's like uh it's not the Jackie Chan turbo. It's not gonna like lightning fast little jabs that are just like they hit me in the face. It's gonna Mike Tyson you. Yeah, it's gonna like grab you by the neck <laughs> and stick you up against the wall. Um, we need to get a bump box on the car. Phil is in charge of the bump department. We need to get that before he leaves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Phil. Forget running the bump box with the fuel tech. We're just going to take it out of Chris's car. Uh, full break it? No, we're not. Full full. Are you coming to Maryland with us? No, I can't. I'm going to go run. Uh, not run. I'm doing a margarita marathon. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting lit at 5 
o'clock on Saturday. Wow. So if anybody calls me, I'm probably not gonna be answering because wow. I'm probably gonna be passed out somewhere in downtown Brown. Wow. Phil was gonna get a relay. We were gonna run the bump box with the fuel tech, but we have one on Chris's car that we could just take off. So that's what we'll do. So we'll have the bump box. We'll be able to stage good. It's already got. Yeah. I mean, it's already ready for um, multiple pumps. More, more than now, are you just gonna feed this off of one? Yeah. Or is it gonna want more? This, this is gonna go. One of these is gonna hook up to this, and then it'll tee. Tee back in there. Yeah. You could take this Y off here and just move it up here and Y it back. Oh no, it's a different size. Sorry. Yeah. God, there's look at all these fittings right here. It's so unnecessary. Yeah, it is so un I was just looking at that. There's like 14 fittings right here. Yeah. That is just blasphemy. Really shocked, though. Yeah, them Lakewoods. This car's been mid 120s in the 60 foot stock suspension. I mean, that's just a good working car. Man, we're spilling my ethanol. I know, I swear. <laughs> it's killing me. Oh, I'm so messed up on methanol, ethanol. <laughs> What's your thought? Put it on methanol. I mean, we can't use it right now, so we might as well use we it. We honestly might as well. We might as well before it evaporates. Ben. I am a fan of alcohol. Imagine me having to wear my 20 layer and boots in this thing. God, that would suck. You think it'd go a 490 on alcohol? Yeah. It might, it has a ch I think it'd have a chance to go 490. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I honestly think with this turbo and alcohol, we could potentially do it. That's terrible. No. It's just making it lighter as we go. Oh, Ben, that looks so good. Make sure you have the, the most plus out. Most, most plus facing out. Look at, we're just down to the good part. <laughs> About two more burnouts. No, no, that's a while. Ask Ben. Ben will tell you they're, they're just getting good now. You're about to see the best 60 foots for about the next four or five what passes. You last week? No, damn, what are 28? Oh, damn. Ben, what do you think of this tire life wise? Uh, Let me check it out. He's going to put one eye on his. Oh, that's, 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 just, like, that's just where we want that's it. So good. <laughs> that's just where we want it. He's going to come over here. Finger. What do you think? Oh yeah, she's nice and broke it in. Perfect <laughs> running condition. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ben, getting down to it, sir. Mm -hmm. Got the pump all wired up. Let's see what we got going on. I missed it. Oh, wow. That looks nice. How are you holding it up there? Is that just like zip ties? We're gonna mount it. Oh, no, I think that mount's fine. All right, we, we are going to fill it up with alcohol here in just a few seconds. That's alcohol if I've ever seen it, huh? Look at how quick it evaporates. It is out of there. The good thing about this, it's like $4. Yeah, it doesn't cost much. <laughs> no. Literally, the only thing cheaper than ethanol. Yeah. It's Big Brother. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And look at how good it cleans up. That's what I like. Oh, it's so easy. It doesn't stink either. No, it doesn't stink. It smells delicious. And when it burns, it don't stink either. It might no. stink to your eyes. Yeah, this will burn your eyes. Yeah, but it, it like, doesn't get stuck to your clothes or your car. Your... You don't go home smelling like it. Yeah. God, a nice cool night should be puffing everywhere. Mm -hmm. Is this gonna make Jose? This is what Jose needed. Yeah. This is what the old Josie haunts back here. That's that's what he's been asking for. It said, "Hey, will this help it spool much?" Yes. <laughs> Say it again. Yes. <laughs> will this clean the plugs off? Yeah. What changes have to be made? Just tell Fuel Tech it's alcohol now. Pretty much. Well, you need 
Anybody looking for a little bit of silver at all? Wow. I don't think that's anything. Here's a video of Ben tuning the wild. Did it ask what kind of alcohol it was? I told it methanol. Does it automatically make the changes? I think so. Are you about to hit it? Yeah. Woo! No, it's alive! It's alive! Whoa! It runs way better! It runs way better! You over here doing meth? Ben, you're not allowed to be doing meth in the shop. <laughs> All right, so now the brown sugar mobile is compatible on two different fuels. You can run E85 or alcohol. Uh, alcohol definitely has some benefits, especially racing. Uh, you can do so, so, so much more with it, and that is badass. Um, you still run E85 in it, you just gotta change the tune. That's it. Ben is filling it up. Well, what are you doing with the pump gas? You're not putting, oh, you went back. Oh, you're tuning on pump gas now. Oh, 87 or 93? <laughs> what the, Ben's worst nightmare is losing to a guy that's on pump 93 with a carburetor. Bad day. Bad day, bad day for sure. So we got brown sugar on alcohol. Uh, what? Just start it? Bring it up. Like does it have a flame cut? Look at Cuddy on meth. Don't hit the starter, please. Damn! Oh. God, that's wild. Turn the hat sideways.
Is this, is this an okay replacement for the black sheep while it's gone? It, for this week, it, it'll replace it this week. <laughs> we had to put it on alcohol so it sounded right. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm putting that smart cars going on alcohol. Everything's going on alcohol. Got a couple of spots in the tail. We'll clean up. But other than that, God, Dino. Yeah. Dino soon. All right, guys. So there you have it. Brown sugar is uh, feeling pretty feisty on alcohol. I like it. We're gonna put it on the Dino. Not push it too hard. Just nice, simple stuff. Get ready for Maryland, which we have coming up this weekend. So I uh, hope all is well with that. Other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.